everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here today i am as always very happy to be here with you and just sharing what i've been painting and what i've been working on um the reason why i was a little bit absent i just flew to spain for um, a whole week finally after a year and a half without seeing my family and my friends so um, I just basically sat and ate <laughs> and did nothing for an entire week. I just really wanted to enjoy their company because truly it was a long time without them. And I, I still think that a week was nothing, <laughs> but I had to head back. Um, but at least I was able to see them, of course, so that is very, very nice. And I just look forward for the next time that I see them or whenever they visit. So, anyways, um, I did this before leaving for Spain. I've been wanting to do my own version of Ophelia for quite a while, and in my last last vlog, you guys saw um, that I did a painting of well, it was a study of a masterpiece. Um, it was the one by Friedrich Willem Theodor Heiser, <laughs> and um, me and my friend laid it. We went to this beautiful. Uh, it's not like a lake, it's just like a pond, but it's just so, so lovely. And I asked her if she could help me to take a few pictures and um, I wanted to put her in the pond, but um, it was a little gross, <laughs> so I jumped on it. And we took those beautiful photos. Um, I really, really like how they look. Actually, the water was perfect for the painting. It was actually freezing and... I couldn't really relax, um, as you can probably tell, <laughs> and also I put on a wig because I wanted that sort of fluffy, uh, floating hair. Um, so this is me just doing a color study uh, very quickly and very, very roughly, just to see how it would turn out, because I just wanted to do it in a very, very big version. Um, I feel not a feel, I think, I know, <laughs> that I'm always starting this, oh, big piece, big piece, and I don't know if I ever finish them when I show you, maybe I finish them, but I don't show it here, I don't know, at least the last one that I did, the big portrait, I I tried to finish it, and I, I really hated it so much, so um, it's sitting in my closet, just all rolled up, <laughs> but this is how the little study turned out, and I think it was it was really good, and it was really, really nice to understand how everything was going to fall into place. So you may or may not recognize this panel over here, <laughs> it's been painted already twice. Um, one, the first time was with the lily pads that looked like Pac-Man, if you remember those. And then I painted something else on top of it and I just decided to gesso it again, so to prime it. Um, and now it's time for Ophelia. Which, by the way, it's a Hamlet's character. Well, Hamlet, it's a Shakespeare character for the play Hamlet, which I have not read. Um, I should be ashamed. I know I, <laughs> I should read it, definitely. I know um, there's a movie that I started several times, but I haven't finished it because it is three hours long. But it's nice. It's really, really good. It's just a little bit dense. But I definitely, definitely have to, <laughs> have to read this, especially if I'm doing a character based on it. But um, anyways, so other than that, I've been observing even closer um, Sargent's work, who is now my top two <laughs> artists, if not top one. <laughs> I don't know, I just, there's something about his work that I absolutely adore, I just get sucked into it. Um, and I found a website where it shared one of his pupils, I think. Um, they just shared like a few things about how he used to work and there's also several videos on the internet from the late 90s uh, where they go over the, um, his work and they repaint it and I've learned so 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 much so I'm going to share um, some of the notes that they say about him and his work they say a lot about the values how important it is and also to simplify 
um, as much as you can, which is what I was trying to do over here. But it's so, so hard when you go from my tiny little painting to this big one. I really don't understand how they managed to do this back then because today, in today's world, we have so many um, things to help us, yet I can't achieve <laughs> what they used to do before. <laughs> Regardless, I will keep trying for sure. Um, so I have the notes over here because I wrote them on a paper, but I can barely understand my handwriting. So, um, oh, he, he says to paint all the half tones um, and the generalized passages quite thick. Paint first the mid tones and then go towards the lights and the darkest to avoid. I think it's uh, false accents. That's what he always says. So um, even though I'm not used to working like that, I think I understood what he what he means because sometimes in this painting I found myself um, going back to the darkest and even adding darker uh, little accents, especially like around the corset and um, around the hair area too. And this is when I decided to completely wipe the face because she looked like a witch and she actually reminds me of Miss Serene's take on uh, Whistler's mother's painting uh, from the movie uh, Miss Serene. The movie, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I have been painting this painting for, I think, five days in a row. And as you can tell, um, <laughs> I completely erased the whole, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I've been struggling a lot and I think it's because there's a lot of subtle um, subtle shadows on the face. It is a time to paint the portrait. We are doing it. This cannot remain like this. I've been staring at this for a very long time. Oh yeah, don't bite the box. And after many, many attempts, this is all I could manage to do with the face. I know it sort of looks like Michael Jackson and I'm so sorry, no offense to Michael Jackson. I just don't like it at all. But I am actually proud of some aspects of the painting. So that is uh, very nice. <laughs> so since I showed you how I went from my photograph references to the painting and a little bit of that whole process, I thought it would be um, pretty perfect to show you this wonderful glass I found on Skillshare for today's video. Um, who is also, by the way, our sponsor. Thank you so much again, Skillshare! <laughs> But I thought it was just absolutely perfect. So this artist um, that I was looking uh, in Skillshare for photo references, his name is Robert Joyner. And in his uh, painting course, he teaches you basically how you can add elements or even take out elements of your own reference photos. So you don't even have to depend on them, which I think is... It's impressive because I don't I don't know how to do that personally. I don't know if I can, but I think it's just wonderful how he can just... Um, look at the photos that he takes that he has and change the elements um, if they work if they don't and just mix and match and teach you how to do that I think that's really really amazing because it gives you so much freedom for your paintings and he also uh, uses gouache so I think
think it, it works perfectly. Um, so I'm going to leave my link in the description box. I'm pretty sure you know how it works, but just in case you forgot, um, the first thousand people that click on the link, they're going to get a free trial of Skillshare uh, Premium. And after that, it's only less than $10 a month. So I think it's a wonderful, wonderful deal. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really plan on finishing this one. I promise I will show you. Um, I usually keep updated that on my Patreon. So um, I will show you over there regardless. But thank you so, so much for, for watching and for staying here. I love you all so much. And I will see you very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. Bye-bye.